Christine and Alex, what you see here behind me is the handiwork of those vandals. There's no longer a door, so a board goes up at night. The cafe's owner was a student activist in Iran. He then led a resistance movement to install a secular government. And although he's now living in exile, he believes the Iranian regime is still trying to silence him. You can't see the culprit, but the owner of the Persian Gulf Cafe in Westwood believes the regime in Iran was behind what you see here. Whatever was fired last week left the restaurant door so damaged it crumbled when open. You think they were trying to send you a message? Yes, of course. That is the first time that in 22 years I'm dealing with this regime in my day and uh, night, and this is my lifestyle. We never feel free until this government, government in Iran, Islamic Republic, get overthrown by the people. Ruzbev Farahanipour believes this is what provoked the vandals. He now has a table permanently reserved for the women who died standing up to the Iranian government during recent protests. Well, this is the way. At least we keep their memories alive until the people can overthrow this regime. He started with Masa Amini and has added new photos of the fallen, along with candles, wheat, which symbolizes life, and roses for love. He was once a dissident in Iran, but even in his new home in Westwood, he says he wants to keep fighting. Since I saw my name on the state newspaper 22 years ago on the execution list, uh, it was the last day I was in Iran. Farhani Poor filed a report with the LAPD, but isn't holding out much hope any arrests will come. And a week later, he has no door, but the table remains reserved for the women of Iran who are fighting 8,179 miles away. The people put their life on the street. They didn't stop. Why should they stop? And Farhani Poor believes the memorial isn't just a show of solidarity. He believes it's also helping to draw attention to what's going on in Iran. He says people come into his restaurant here on Westwood Boulevard. They ask questions. They take photos of the memorial and then post them on social media. Live in Westwood, Chrissy Fajardo, let's send it back to you.